Hi, I appreciate you stopping by. It's so good to see you. Just as the last of the Christmas decorations are cleared from the stores, suddenly valentines, hearts, flowers, and cuddly toys are everywhere. If you're in a relationship, you might be wondering, how do I make her Valentine's Day special this year? I noticed as I walked through my neighborhood Target that the Valentine's gifts and cards are crowding the aisles. Most of us don't think about gifts for Valentine's Day until the night of February 13th. And by then, we've become so desperate for ideas, we'll grab anything chocolate or heart-shaped just to have something to show that we thought about our significant other on this designated love holiday. I'll share something personal with you. I've never had a big holiday or occasion that was super special. Birthdays, senior prom, graduations, anniversaries, we're all very ordinary and somewhat disappointing. Holidays and special occasions come with a lot of pressure for every detail to be planned and precisely executed to the delight of the celebrant. That works well on television, but real life comes with a lot more delays, forgetful friends, and unexpected challenges. It's okay. I don't expect my life to be like some movie or celebrity Instagram story. I've learned that some of my most ordinary routine days can turn out to be extraordinarily wonderful. What makes those days extra special is that the people I love are with me and something unusual and exciting happens. For example, my first hot air balloon ride was unexpected and just happened because I was in the right place at the right time. My husband bought me a beautiful ring not for our 25th wedding anniversary, which is in May, but a few months after that, while we were on a family trip in South Dakota. We stopped at a jewelry and curio store in Sturgis, and I found a Black Hills gold ring that was just perfect for me. He bought it that day in mid-July, but I tell everybody it's my 25-year ring because that's what it represents to me. When I wear it, I remember being supported and loved by him traveling with my family, and enjoying a wonderful summer vacation. My point is, don't wait for Valentine's Day to celebrate your love for your wife or girlfriend. You can celebrate your love every day by creating special moments when you're together, from first thing in the morning when you show her your appreciation by bringing her a hot cup of coffee, to lunchtime when you send a text that tells her you're thinking of her, to kissing her goodnight and wishing her pleasant dreams. One of the most impactful things that shows me my husband loves me and wants to please me is that he rubs my back and strokes my hair as we fall asleep each night. The security of that consistent affection is better than any bottle of perfume or box of chocolates that he might feel obligated to buy because it happens to be February 14th. What about those men who are not in a romantic relationship? Valentine's Day can be really difficult for single people. Everything seems to be about love, romance, couples, and relationships in the weeks leading up to Valentine's Day. It can be oppressive and make you feel like there's something missing if you're not with somebody special. You may feel a little desperate to connect with any woman just to not be alone. I've got some good news for you. If being alone is what you want, that's okay even on Valentine's Day. But if you don't want to be alone, realize that there are other single people all around you who feel the same way. Just as people can celebrate Thanksgiving with their family or with friends when family's too far away, you can celebrate Valentine's Day with friends and family when you're not currently in a romantic relationship. Love is not limited to girlfriends and wives. You can share a special lunch with a family member or friend, give your mom or sister a rose, buy a balloon for a friend or even a stranger. The act of giving and focusing on how you can show appreciation or affection to another person is what Valentine's Day is about. So don't hide from the world on February 14th. Enjoy the day your way. Here's your homework for this week. 
If you're in a relationship with any woman, a wife, girlfriend, friend, or relative, write down five small things you could do for her every time you see her or a few times each week that would be easy for you to do but would mean so much to her. It doesn't have to be traditionally romantic. It should be something specific you know she would love. It could be as mundane as taking on a chore she complains about or something sweet and thoughtful like surprising her with her favorite afternoon coffee drink when she's having a challenging day at work. After you make the list of five things you can do, take action and begin to do those things as often as possible. While you're doing these small things, notice which ones have the most positive impact on her and your relationship. She may be more grateful when you wash your car, or when you rub her shoulders, or when you surprise her with flowers. If you start now, by the time Valentine's Day arrives, you've filled her love tank so much that anything you do to recognize the love holiday will be enough. No grand gestures are necessary because you've been maintaining a high level of giving appreciation all month long. Personally, I prefer it when my husband gives me roses for no reason rather than on Valentine's Day when I know they cost up to four times as much. Also, I'd rather not go out to dinner to a crowded restaurant with all the other couples and spend lots of time and money on a fancy meal. I like it when we go to our favorite little inexpensive restaurant every weekend instead and invest our time together building a relationship. Getting flowers or heart-shaped balloons one day a year at her office doesn't make up for neglecting her the rest of the year. But thoughtful, affectionate, and simple acts of service that you provide several times each week will be better than anything money can buy. Ignore the companies trying to sell candy, flowers, jewelry, or lingerie. If a woman has a choice between receiving time or expensive gifts from the man she loves, she will choose spending time with him. So this Valentine's Day, choose to spend time on her instead of money. I'm not saying you should ignore Valentine's Day. That would be like ignoring your anniversary. However, when you get into the habit of giving, then a special occasion won't cause the same kind of pressure that comes from having to excel at a one night a year event. So if things don't go the way you planned, it's easily forgiven because you show the love you feel every day. One more thing for the single guys. You may wonder why I recommend you do these acts of love and service for family and friends when you lack a romantic relationship. There's three reasons. Number one, it improves your relationship with that woman. Number two, it gives you practice, experience, and success that brings confidence. So when you do get into a romantic relationship, it's easy to keep doing those thoughtful things for the one you love. And number three, other women notice when you're doing those thoughtful things and you could find a romantic relationship that much faster because of your thoughtful reputation. So enjoy the interaction of giving and receiving love with family and friends or your girlfriend or wife. Practice small acts of kindness and share your story with me in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. If you'd like to give me a virtual message of love, please visit my Patreon page and consider pledging a small amount each month to join our community, receive bonus perks, and support my work. And please take a moment now and subscribe. I'll be uploading at least one video each week with occasional bonus videos. Thanks for meeting with me. We'll talk again soon. Joe, can we freshen this up? The softer side. You can share a special lunch with a family member or a friend. Give your mom or a sister a sister. <laughs> so like a nun. You could spare, uh, find a sister and give her. <laughs> you know, nuns like roses too. <laughs>